I'm Dr. Xania Sofrovais, and I would like to express my deepest apologies for not being here with you today. However, I'll try to do my best in offering this presentation in the following video. I would like to introduce you to a new treatment for obesity. Number one, we'll be talking about effortless lipolysis and muscle hypertrophy, and number two, about rapid and efficient blood cell separation. Obesity is associated with more than 30 medical conditions including type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, osteoarthritis, high blood pressure, breast cancer, cancers of the esophagus and gastric cardia. 65.2% of the U.S. population is considered to be overweight or obese. Obesity and the associated metabolic pathologies such as insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases are associated with chronic low-grade inflammation. Selim et al. have shown that obesity is related to reduced blood flow velocities in the middle cerebral arteries. Insulin acts as a key opening the glucose channel so that the cell is nourished. Without insulin, glucose accumulates in the bloodstream. Obesity is associated with insulin resistance. Smith et al showed that weight reduction increased insulin. Insulin resistance results in increased release of fatty acids into the circulation. Camero reports that fatty acids interfere with more than one key enzyme in the regulation of blood flow. In our studies, we used the pacemaker technology for the skeletal muscle made in the EU-funded innovation science. The early version of this device is not a muscle stimulator and it is not a TENS machine. It is a microamp intelligent device based on neuroresonance technology handmade by UK's leading technicians and supervised by Jerry Pollock. Its anti-aging products are designed for skin toning, muscle building, inch loss, and body sculpting. It has up to a thousand frequencies that resonate with the CNS like a biological signature. An updated device made for muscle building by the co-inventors of the pacemaker was used in our study. Anti-aging usages include facial rejuvenation, effortless fat burning for sports medicine doctors, professional athletes and bodybuilders. With up to 2,000 sine waveforms that decode neurosignals in a key to lock relationship of a biological signature. Pacemaker technology for the skeletal muscle reduces obesity is shown in a recent clinical study in 2009. After only four treatments, body fat was reduced from 46.1 to 42.1, visceral fat from 11 to 10, and bone density increased from 2.9 to 3.2. Muscle mass increased from 43.9 to 46.4. That's only in four treatments. This is another subject who received 14 treatments that result in a significant reduction of body fat, visceral fat, and a significant increase in muscle mass. Due to its resonance, the multi sign signal reaches the brain. Brain orders the pituitary to release growth hormone and DSH. DSH is transformed into T4 and T3. T3 causes lipolysis. Growth hormone signals the liver to release insulin growth factor IGF-1. IGF-1 causes lipolysis and muscle hypertrophy. We observed rejuvenation effects during treatment and decided to look at the blood. The blood is a key factor to rejuvenation and longevity for it transports hormones that are intimately connected to anti-aging, antibodies to enhance immunity, oxygen, nutrients to the cells, waste products to the kidneys for deep cleansing, all of the above are dynamically involved in cellular regeneration and vitality. A drop of the subject blood was drawn from a fingertip of each subject and placed on a microscope slide. A special lens inside the microscope projected an intimate view of the living blood into a computer screen by way of a video camera. All subjects received six treatments. 
There were at least five pictures taken from different aspects of each sample to control for the possibility of contaminating the validity and reliability of the results by selecting a certain aspect of the sample over another. This was a blind study conducted by individuals that had not been given information as to how to interpret blood samples. Sample of subjects results going from erythrocyte aggregation to rouleau to complete separation after the third treatment. Results of two random subjects that went from erythrocyte aggregation in treatment 1 to erythrocyte separation in treatment 6. Sample of two other subjects' blood that was transformed from erythrocyte aggregation and poikilocytosis to erythrocyte separation suggesting a significant reduction of free radicals. Results of several subjects randomly selected comparing treatment 1 to treatment 6. All subjects were obese. Summary of results showing statistical significance in terms of erythrocyte separation and a reduction of fugal forms, thrombocyte aggregation, bacteria, poikilocytosis, in other words, a reduction in free radicals, suggesting the powerful antioxidant effect of the device. Pacemaker technology enhances RBC separation. Being effortless, it involves many more nodes lactic acid. Therefore, can it help intolerance to statins, which is associated with intolerance to exercise? Intolerance to statins is associated with one, mitochondrial impairment, ADP, not turning into ATP. Number two, calcium homeostasis, hypocalcemia, overexcited CNS, or hypercalcemia, depressed CNS. Mitochondria is also related to aging. There is a decrease in the number of mitochondria with age and an increase in the size of mitochondria with aging. So here we have statins that are associated with mitochondrial impairment and calcium homeostasis as well as aging that is also associated with mitochondrial damage and calcium homeostasis. Then research is showing that calcium homeostasis and mitochondrial impairment are also associated with oxidative stress. Here we have a study from Cambridge University where similar gene expression patterns characterize aging and oxidative stress. Oxidative damage denatures both DNA and proteins. Results on poikilocytosis suggest that the pacemaker technology acts as a major antioxidant. The pacemaker technology increases ATP production in the mitochondria. The electron transport chain probes the proton motive force that spins the F1 module of ATPase clockwise for ATP synthesis. By itself, F1 spins only counterclockwise, breaking energy down. We are presently investigating the hypothesis on calcium homeostasis. Overall, our research indicates that the pacemaker technology can reduce the risk of heart attacks, reduce the need for statins, reduce intolerance to statins, reduce diabetic symptoms as a result of endogenous release of hormones, significantly help obesity and obesity-related pathologies, enhance longevity as a result of its energy-producing capacity as well as anti-aging capacity, and finally offer rejuvenation, muscle building, and lipolysis. Thank you for your kind attention to this presentation. If you have any questions, please email me at research at rcsperfector.com.